Hi, today I will talk about an eyepiece that I bought. Uh, it's a 32 millimeters and uh, SWA from Omegon. This is it. Uh, I was looking for um, a 30 millimeters from Explore Scientific. Uh, uh, 82 degrees but unfortunately it's sold out everywhere so and uh, it will keep it that way uh, I, I don't know when they they will be, be uh, available but uh, my guess is that it will be some months uh, in front of this to, to, to be available again so um, I needed to to buy a, a long eyepiece, and um, I call for uh, I call Astro Shop, and uh, they they advised me, uh, and uh, I, I had a problem because I didn't want to spend more than the, uh, I was willing to spend in the, the Explore Scientific uh, eyepiece. And uh, I, I had no similar eyepiece with a wider field of, of view and and uh, those characteristics. And I had an option to to give a, one step further and and buy uh, some Teleview, uh, which have uh, good quality, but. Um, I didn't want to spend uh, that money and uh, the alternative I had was to buy uh, a cheaper uh, one um, but keep uh, some good performance uh, similar to to the Explore Scientific and uh, I, I gave a try to, to, to this one um, it has uh, 70 percent 70 degrees uh, of uh, field of view and 32 millimeters it's a um, SWA so super wide angle and um, to be honest I was very impressed with this uh, my fear was that uh, this eyepiece would have um, big distortions at the edge of the field which it doesn't have and it was a surprise for me um, I'm using this eyepiece about uh, one or two weeks and um, it's incredible that it only has a little distortion but between uh, maybe five percent of of the, the the end of the field, and that's acceptable to me. Uh, Beside, I have a Explore Scientific uh, nine millimeters, and uh, it was supposed not to have that uh, distortions, and it has. So I suppose uh, the thirty millimeters will have also that uh, little distortion at the edge and uh, from what as far as I know from what I, I hear in everywhere and I read uh, it has so this one has a feature that I like very much uh, it's a shame that they this doesn't have uh, in the other line of Omegon uh, eyepieces uh, but this line has it's this rubber eye guard so you can rotate it to adjust to the eye and it's very good very good because I I like uh, I like eyepieces with wide field of view and uh, I like to put my eye and inside the eyepiece and and feel like uh, walking in a space space walk effect no mm, and i got it from from the the explore scientific and at, 
with this one uh, uh, I got it too, but it has the advantage comparing to the other eyepieces and the Explore Scientific that this rubber it's very comfortable for me because I I align this according to my preference and then I, I just stay like this and um, and I can be fixed and without uh, problems and and with uh, lots of, of comfort. Uh, it has a, a very nice uh, width, diameter, so we, it's very nice. And um, that's it. Uh, this eyepiece, it's not. I advise not to do this and uh, and screw because these lenses. Well, it's a cheaper eyepiece, and these lenses, if you if you take these, may fall. So better keep it that way and and uh, don't touch it. It has also a rubber band here, which is very nice. And another advantage for me, and now that I have a Neki EQ platform. Another advantage is the weight. This one, I have here the, um, the specs from Omegon. And this one has about uh, five, 580 grams, so, so half a kilo. And uh, the um, the Expo Scientific is is uh, much heavier. And uh, if I, I see the my nine millimeters and uh, has a lot of weight and 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 uh, comparing to to this and the thirty millimeters will be much more heavier, much heavier. And and this is an advantage to me. Because I can balance my my 12-inch Dobsonian easier, um, so it's a feature that I like. Another thing that I think is important in this SWA eyepiece uh, was uh, the the fear that most part of people and me included had about um, the using this with fast telescopes mine is a f5 so it's a fast telescope and um, this particular line this one this the omega swa um, can be used uh, with a fast telescope mm, they they tell here in the specs and also they advise here if you go to the Astroshop website and and read what they say, at the end they have uh, the optical designs of the Omegan SWS Mid KX and Williams One eyepieces are similar. Unlike its competitors, however, Omegan SWS have an adjustable eye cup that is very nice and provide better protection from stray light uh, and are individually adjustable for eye relief in testing with an F5 Newtonian telescope field correction was slightly better than for the Williams one and light transmission slightly better than the mid QX the finish of the Omegon SWA is exemplary. Okay, so this was a, a thing that I was concerned and uh, I have to admit that they, they made it. And uh, I like this line. Um, it has a 25 millimeters eye relief and uh, five lenses.
it's homofocal okay here it says for 420 grams year 580 well it's not heavy that's important it's heavy but not so heavy as as uh, i expect from an eyepiece like export scientific the grenades ones and i don't know well i, I still prefer the export scientific because uh, it has not 70 degrees but 82 uh, and I like that, that feeling of, I don't mind to look inside the eyepiece, I, I, I like that feeling. So it's a, a personal preference. But this one uh, is okay in, in that, in that um, specification. So uh, I think it's, I said, uh, the more important. Mm, what they say, ah, they have uh, this line as the 38 millimeters, the 32 that is, is this eyepiece, 26, 20, 15 and 10. So the 2 inch, this is a 2 inch eyepiece, I forgot to tell. Uh, the 2 inch are the 38, 32 and 26. Uh, the other ones are 1 and a, and a quarter inch. Barbell. Uh, per focal, okay, okay, that's it. Well, this to conclude, this is an eyepiece uh, that was bought for me with a condition that if I don't like it, I will return it to Astro Shop. They agree, and uh, uh, I didn't. I I tried two or three nights in a row, and I just open here uh, a space for for it. I'm very happy with it, and uh, I hope this help uh, to to you make for you to make uh, the decisions when buying eyepieces, because it was I I found a, a lack of information about eyepieces uh, on YouTube and especially this one uh, I, I haven't seen a, a, any video uh, about this eyepiece so now you have one and uh, one that I, I tried no, no one uh, gave me this eyepiece it's eyepiece that I bought with my money for me for me to use and uh, I'm very happy with, uh, with this eyepiece so here you have and that's it for today please subscribe it helps the channel and give it a like if you like this video and don't forget that to subscribe because I will keep uh, posting regularly videos about uh, things and connected to astronomy and especially to Dobsonian cheers